this video is for Virgo. And today we're asking, how does the person Virgo is dealing with feel about them? So this is going to be feelings they're not telling you. Could be with this person, could be in separation. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, I do a 15 to 25 minute video. I answer all of your questions in detail and I pull lots of cards. I also pull an oracle. So if that's something you're interested in, the information's in the description. Okay. How does the person feel? Let's see what they're hiding. Not really telling you. Okay, at the bottom we have the strength card. So you could be dealing with a Leo. If not, it's just this person is very strong-willed. Um, they also could be holding back communication because you see how this lady is holding this lion's mouth shut, which is very hard to do. So you may have somebody who um, is in separation who's not communicating, but it's really killing them not to communicate with you. Yeah, and there was some kind of ending between the two of you, so you're definitely probably in separation. I want to kind of speak some kind of truth. Yeah. Um, there was an ending between the two of you, Virgo, but they want to come in. They want to speak this truth to you. And what they're what they're not telling you, the truth of it, the matter is, they are in love with you, okay? So if you guys are in separation, they do love you a lot. Um, this is also a divine connection because we have Source Angel looking over these people. This is also a Gemini card. Yeah, then we have the Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Okay, um, so I can see that this person that you're dealing with, Virgo, they're very abundant. They're very stable. They're nurturing. They could be like a mother or a father. Um, but this person has their finances in order, and that's how you view them. You know that this person um, is financially stable, abundant. Um, also this, this, it's like they're, this person you're dealing with, they're trying to make a decision about you. It's like they're trying to decide, should I, or should I talk to them or not? But they also, we have the will of fortune. So this lets me know this is under divine timing. This whole situation is under divine timing. The queen of swords, queen of cups, the king of cups. Wow. <laughs> okay. So, um, I can also see that this person right now is kind of being like head over heart. Um, they have their hand out. You see the queen of swords. She has her hand out. So she's like, yeah, you can come talk to me, but I could cut you. So it's kind of like, you know, that this person, um, has the ability to kind of be harsh with their words, but what they're not telling you is in their mind, they see you as like their divine partner. We have the king and the queen of cups. So this lets me know that their whole like, they're, hi they're hiding, okay, because we have the ace of swords, now we have the queen of wands. Both of those represent some type of truth, okay? So the truth is they view you as a divine partner. They, dev they When they think of you, they're thinking of you as if you are already like married. Like that's what they want with you. They want to come together with you. We see it with the lover's card and all this pair. And the, both of these, um, the king and queen of cups is like all love. So this person is like madly in love with you. Yeah. And they're, the reason, okay, the reason also I'm getting with this person, Virgo, if they're kind of like holding back from you, not really speaking and being kind of harsh, the reason is, is because they've been through some type of a heartbreak. Um, in the past, and oftentimes the Queen of Swords is also somebody who has been through a divorce recently or is going through like a separation with a spouse. So this man or woman that you're dealing with, if they're not really being the most welcoming to you or loving towards you, it's because they've been through this horrible relationship and they're just trying to heal from it. They have a lot of healing that they need to focus on right now. So don't take it personal if they're not very loving towards you because in their heart this is what they want they want a relationship with you yeah because once again we have another healing card an Aquarius card 
These are both healing cards, but the star speaks to destiny, divine. So with this and the Wheel of Fortune, it lets me know, and with the lovers, that you guys are meant to be together. This is a divine connection the two of you have. So it's under divine timing. So if things aren't working out right now, don't worry about it because they will work out. Like Source is watching over it. Yeah. And then we have the Temperance card. So this, this is... <laughs> I'm just laughing because these are all three healing cards, okay, Virgo? We have the Temperance. The Temperance Angel, what she does is she does alchemy. You see how she has this cup and that cup, and she's like going back and forth, back and forth. Well, what she's doing is she's taking the hurt and the pain and the sorrow that happened with this person in their past, and she is healing this person, okay? And the, the, this man, this woman, is doing the same with the star card. This person is under like a divine period of healing because they've went through so much hurt in their past. And this could be you too. This could be your energy. I'm picking up on Virgo where you have been so hurt in your past and the divine is literally just piecing you back together. That's why you're in this healing mode. And also that's why, that's how this person is too, okay? So what's going to happen is you're going to heal and they're going to heal because both of you have went through some type of a trauma in life and source is going to bring you guys back together. So if you're in separation, don't worry about it, okay? Because you guys are going to come back together. It's destiny. Yeah, and then we have the Justice card, the Two of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so there could be, um, there could be, okay, what you're looking for is justice in the situation because you feel off balance right now with this person. And then we have the Scales, so that's letting me know that you want this juggling to come to an end and there be equal give and take. This is also a Libra card. But then we have the Three of Pentacles. So right now, um, this person may not even be fully separated from their spouse. Like the divorce might have not been through because we have the Justice card. So it's kind of like that's what you're waiting on because this is a third party. There's three people here, okay? And then we have the juggling. So this person could be juggling two people. And you're just like waiting for them to cut one of the people. Because the Justice card can speak to divorce. And then we've seen the Queen of Swords, who also can be a divorcee. So there's something legal that still needs to happen with this person. Um, but it is going to happen. With Justice card showing up, if you are involved with somebody who's in a third party, um, you're going to get your your wish. They're going to end up divorcing their person and be with you. Yeah. And then we have the Virgo card. You're showing up the high priestess. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And the five of pentacles. Okay. So this is once again, is source coming through. Um, these two are a pair, the hermit and the high priestess. I see these as my, the male and female energies of spirit. So you guys are a divine pair. Okay. Right now, you guys probably have been out in the cold, but that's about to stop. You guys are about to end up coming into union because the Five of Pentacles upright would mean you're out in the cold. But since it's in the reverse, that means you guys are going to come together, okay? But you guys are divine. I, I see it all over this reading. Like, this is your divine partner, okay? Yeah, and then we have the Emperor. The Seven of Wands. And then the Devil. Okay. So there could be something involved also in the past that was kind of toxic. Um, Virgo, this, there could be um, a spouse or somebody who is toxic for this person. And that's why they blocked them. They're like blocking that person out of their life and healing. Because there was so much healing that went on. This could speak to like a spouse. But also with the emperor, this person... Um, the emperor does not show their feelings, okay? They're very headstrong. They're very stubborn. So what they do is they mask their feelings. They're blocking their feelings. They're not showing you their hand that they really want this relationship with you. Um, and it's because they're healing and they're going through something. And then we have the devil also. So it's like this person is like blocking the devil. This is also Capricorn Aries energy, by the way. But it's like this person is fighting off things that made them need to heal. Because there's a reason why people are healing. They've went through some type of trauma. And that's what this person is 
like going through. And this could even be you too, Virgo. This could be you that is healing and blocking this toxic, codependent, um, alcohol, drug, sex addiction type energy. And then we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Wands, and then the Magician. Okay, so yeah, like I said, with the Four of Wands, this is my Twin Flame card. Um you are going to end up marrying this person, okay? You're going to have victory in marriage with this person who you're dealing with. Um, also, this person could be very good looking and get a lot of attention because the Six of Wands is somebody who gets recognized by everybody. Um, and this could be you also, that they feel like you get a lot of attention. Um, but they like that. They, they think you're adorable. And then we have the Magician. So this lets me know that you have the tools to manifest this. So if you want this person to return or you want a marriage with this person, that's what's going to happen. You will have any wish you want granted. You're going to have the victory in this situation because you have every tool you need to make this situation work, okay? Then we have the Ten of Cups, which is complete wish fulfillment. This is the type of family who has the husband, the wife, the kids, the dogs, and they could be broke, poor, and out on the streets, but still completely emotionally happy because they have love. This is the ultimate love card, okay? Then we have the Page of Pentacles and then the Five of Wands. Okay, so we finally see some movement from this person. This person is going to return to you soon. I would say within the next four weeks. Um, they're going to message you. It's going to be a small message, nothing big. It's just going to be like, would you like to go eat? Or, hey, how are you doing? Or, would you like to get coffee? Or, can I see you? Just something to that effect, okay? Also, if by chance, so we see the Six of Wands and the Five of Wands. If this person has access to your social media, Virgo, they see that they have competition for you. And that's going to be the trigger that brings this person back to you, okay? So if you're talking to other people or if you're online getting attention, this person sees it and they know they have competition for you and they don't like it. So that's going to be something that triggers them to come out of their healing mode to reach out to you. Okay, then we have the King of Pentacles. So this is your energy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, first of all, um, your finances are going to be like off the charts. If you've been trying to find work or anything like that, you're about to be blessed with an amazing job offer. Second of all, um, you, you are just, I mean, I can't even imagine, I can't even fathom the amount of money you're about to come into. Um, this is also speaking to the family, back to this person. You and this person, you guys are like a power couple, okay? So when you guys come together, you are just going to, like, mesh so well financially that it's not even funny. Like, you guys are going to have everything. Because we have the Ten of Cups, now we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Um, so you guys are definitely going to be like a power couple, I can see here. And your finances are going to be amazing. It's almost like... Because you came together with this person, that it's like Source is blessing you. Source is like, you know what? You guys are divine partners. You guys have been through hell and back in your past. And now I'm going to bless you and give you everything you need. So that's what's going to happen in this relationship. Um, just know that they're healing and you're healing. But you guys are divine. This is all under divine timing. This is a beautiful read. I haven't seen such a beautiful read in a hot minute. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Um... Just give them time because they're coming. I can tell you that right now. Let me roll you some dice. And if you'd like a reading, just email me. They're only $17. I could go into more detail for you in your situation. Okay. Google angel number 771. And you'll have a message there. And then these are some signs you could be dealing with. Pisces. Leo, Leo, Gemini. So those could be of significance to you. So have a good one. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Source just told me to roll again. There, there's another sign that they want you to keep an eye on. Hold on. Okay. Libra, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn. 
Okay, so that could be one of your, somebody out there watching knows that one of these signs is their divine partner. So we have Libra, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so have a good one. And thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I promise you won't regret it because I, I do a lot of predictions and I'm really good at my readings too. So thank you.